Rock 92 KFMA. Excited to have on the phone because he's got a new book out. It's called Official 101, The History of Pantera from His Eyes. Rex Brown, the bassist of Pantera, is on the phone right now. Rex, how you doing? Oh, just uh, another day in paradise. Yeah, where <laughs> where are you right now? I am in uh, I'm in Texas right now. Okay, well that would the home home of Pantera. This is my main home, and yeah, and then I'm yeah I'm all over the place now. Well, Rex, I think this is the first time that we we talked, and excited to have you on your new book, Official Truth, One Hundred One Proof, in it telling the story of uh, Pantera from uh, from from the beginning to the end, and the story behind the onstage murder of Dimebag. And because, you know, I don't know a lot about this. I was getting into radio in the 90s, and I got to admit, I, I got into Pantera after because you guys didn't get a whole lot of radio play early on. No, none at all. So how did it how did it begin for Pantera, and how did you guys kind of become a metal sensation without getting a whole lot of radio airplay? Just playing a lot of shows, man. You know, just uh, our live following was huge, you know, and it just built and built and built. It, there you have it. Those sh- early shows must have been insane because I do remember Metallica fans getting pissed that they went, Metallica went kind of the Enter Sandman direction. I mean, you guys were still doing metal the way metal was, old school metal. Well, you got to remember there, there was, a, you know, you had the grunge, then you had Metallica that went a little softer than what they were used to. And so we saw a little big hole, a little crack, as you would put it. And, uh, you know, we weren't consciously trying to do that. We were just trying to write the best songs that we could uh, with vulgar display. And um, we just we slipped through the cracks, you know, got lucky and wrote some really great songs, and that's all you could really say about it. Also, what I want to know is, does this book... I, I remember reading Motley Crue's Dirt a couple of years ago, and I was just like, man, this is like one of the more entertaining rock biographies ever because it talked about everything. Girls, drugs. Are we going to find the same thing in Official Truth? It's not a cookbook, and it's not a kid's book. So, you know, sex, drugs, are as well, but... No. Yeah! Can you share one of these sto- one of one of your better stories of excess, maybe from the early days of the band? I'd rather let the reader read it. All right, just maybe. Is that, fair? Is that fair, guys? No, no, yeah, that's that's fair. You don't have to give details, details, but maybe like a ballpark. Like I, you know, I, hey, I want him to get the book too. Just I sort of want to know what's in there a little bit. Well, I mean, it, it, it kind of tells my story, you know, about uh, I, you know, I was sitting in the cheap seats, you know, I, I was there. There's only four of us that knew. The intertwinings of uh, what Pantera was, and um, that's just the way it is. You know, it's just my little take on what went on. So, um, it, it's a good read. You know, and I know you guys are are very different, especially in the beginning. All the band members, and you had jam sessions and such. Uh, did you guys clash at the beginning? Because I know you talk about like before you got in the group, while you were in the group, after the group. Uh, with any band, you're going to have that. You know, of course. I mean, there's no shiny little palace that you live in. You know, <laughs> the, the world. You, know, you have your hills and valleys, and you get through them. You know, one step at a time, and that's what we did. But we were, we all had a common goal of doing what we're doing. Rex Brown, bassist to Pantera, on the phone talking about his new book, where he talks about the rise and fall of Pantera, and also the death of Dimebag Daryl. How did Dimebag's death affect you? Well, that's something else that's in the book that's very uh, very lucid and very, uh, uh, at the same time, poignant. It's, it's to, the, to the point of, you know, how do you lose your best friend? Hear about it on CNN. Phil, Philip and I were doing Down, and then, you know, these other guys, we just needed to break away from each other, you know, at that point. Musically. You know, and, and that's good. That's help, you know. But uh, they, they kind of kind of drew an imaginary line in the sand and not necessarily time, but Vinny for sure. Um, what well, all I can say is man, it's a very terrible day and it, it seems like yesterday, but it's been eight, nine years now. You know, and I'm still going through that. You know, he was my best friend, you know. And it just a uh, uh, very sad thing, you know. You guys, all bands have had fans rush the, rush the stage, but certainly nobody could have predicted what happened. 
no, this guy was a deranged idiot, you know, out of his mind. And uh, he just didn't want to, he wanted to take the whole band out, you know. Uh, and how has it has it approached has it changed the way that you approach uh, a live show at all? I don't look over my shoulder. You know, I'm just up there trying to put a smile on people's faces, and uh, that's all you can do with your music. And uh, we, with the Panto, we've accomplished that. You know, now I'm with with uh, Vinny Apsey with Go Level Hill, and um, that's what we're still trying to do, man. You just you just get I get it at the same time. Official 101, the history of the band Pantera from the eyes of Rex Brown. It's out now. Uh, uh, this, this is just my truth, you know. The link is up on Amazon right now, and we're also putting it out on the Fuka KFMA Facebook.